that nevertheless word is used uh, quite often uh, throughout scripture. And certainly one of the times that it was used was by Jesus, as I indicated in my sharing with the group here tonight, where he was about to go to the cross for the sins of the world and for all people. And yet he was praying that the Lord would remove that suffering that he knew he had to go through. But still he was able to speak those words. Nevertheless, Father, not my will, but your will be done. And so even today, as we hear the sad news about this institution closing, it is our objective, it is our goal to say, nevertheless, Lord, we know that you still have something awesome for us to do and for to carry on the ministry that this school has provided through, down through the years. This school has done so much for so many over the years. It started, of course, uh, with Dr. Young, but it's, it's, her heart was very enlarged by God and his, his love and his grace for the people that she would go out and to share her, her vision with. And of course that meant a lot of lives were affected in a positive way. Well, many of the African-American pastors uh, are a result of this institution. Most of the pastors went through here and many of them, Rosa Young placed her hand on their heads and said the words, you are going to be a pastor. Also to the female, she said, you are going to be a Lutheran school teacher. And it came true. And there, of course, were those, and we stated this in the Rosa Young uh, first Rosa movie, that uh, did not want Dr. Young to place her hand on their head because they knew that her words uttered to them were going to come true. I think the, the inspiration behind Rosa J. Young should still be the inspiration in the situation that we're in. Because with Rosa J. Young, it didn't matter the obstacles that they were going through. She fought, she fought, she fought so that education can be for everyone here in this area. On behalf of the Concordia College family, uh, I am happy to welcome all of you uh, to this banquet this evening. It's an exciting time. You know, we do a lot of things throughout the year on a college campus, but it's only fitting that we pause at least one evening and recognize excellence, recognize accomplishments, recognize hard work. What I got from this school is keep pushing myself and work hard because hard work pays off. I'm happy for the students, especially those who have graduated and moving on. This is a great school. We're going to miss it in Selma. So we wish our teachers and the faculties the best of luck. Well, I think it's sad because it had 96 years of history here as an academy, as a high school, as a junior college, then as a four-year college. But institutions don't necessarily last forever. Circumstances change. The most important part of our work to come in the future uh, will be to uh, continue uh, to make sure that the legacy of Rosa Young is maintained and continued. Her work is not forgotten, uh, continued to be celebrated, and to continue in the future. This country with a young lady who had a heart for young boys and girls who were in need of a Christian education. That was in 1922. And so here tonight, as we think about the years of service, of 96 years of service here at Concordia, the faithfully departed, I'm going to invite you to stand. Please observe that following this, we will have a moment of silent meditation. And we're going to ask that you would use your cell phones and use your flashlights to turn those on to whisper a word of thanks to the Lord for their gifts to many who continue to serve the church, the community, and the world. For all the saints who from their labors rest to thee by faith before the world confessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to give thanks for the vision that the Lord gave to Rosa Young and we give thanks for all the faculty and staff, and we give thanks for all of the students who have ever been educated because of Rosie Young and Concordia College, Alabama. Ready for the countdown? Yes. On 100. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. One. <laughs> zero, zero. 
Hi, Mom. 95? Yeah. 96? 97? Yes. 98? Yes. 99? 100! I'm delighted to be here this morning to celebrate this special occasion. And that occasion is the graduation of these candidates, the Reverend Clergy, members of our Board of Regents, alumni, parents, friends, faculty, and staff, and most importantly, the members of the class of 2018. On behalf of the entire Concordia College family, I certainly welcome you all here to commencement this morning. Concordia class of 2018, when you walk across this stage today, hold your head up high. You are part of something bigger than this institution. You are part of a legacy of greatness that cannot be denied. Use that confidence and knowing that you're part of something great to achieve something greater. Something that does more than put money in your pocket, but something that will make a difference in the lives of others. I'm proud of you, Concordia graduates, but this is just one day. Keep it going. Remember, you're part of something that's bigger than yourself, that's bigger than this college. You're part of a legacy of greatness. Wear it with dignity, wear it with confidence, and wear it with pride. No one can take it away from you. I would like to, first of all, thank the Board of Regents here at Concordia College, Alabama, who have volunteered their time, their energy, who have given to this institution and who believed in Rosa Young's dream. And I would also like to thank the Concordia University system, as well as the Lutheran Church Missouri Senate for doing what they could do. It's hard trying to keep faith-based institutions alive in the times that we live in now. So I do understand, God understands as well, but now it's time for us that have matriculated from this college to go and rebuild and shape tomorrow's leaders. And wherever God placed me, I will continue to carry out the spirit of Dr. Rosa J. Young. Oh, Lord. 